Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. We are in Kadingle. And running around. Now, you'll get great experience uh, from everything in here. There's also, there's a lot of, there's a lot of nectars. Hmm. I don't remember where I have to go here. Alright. What are we, oh, these guys again. I'm not really too worried about these guys. They have some abilities, I mean, that might, that could possibly be problematic. Oh, it would have been nice to not leave two of them alive. Yeah, that can be a real issue if they they hit multiple people with it. Not multiple people. If they hit the same person twice was what I meant. All right, Void has been mastered didn't work on that particular enemy, but now we have it. All right, wait a minute. All right, we got it. There it is. So that makes that statue appear. I think the other one just opened that door so we could get there. Um, the, the first two, I think, floors of this tower are pretty complicated puzzles. And then um, everything after that's just not. That's the only way I can say. They're just, it's like the game designer gave up at some point. It was just like, I'm tired of designing hard things to get through. Like, literally, there are two floors that are just walking down hallways. Oh, yeah, we have to go this way. And down. Oh, come on. Um, also, the enemies will change as we go up the first, like, two or three floors. But after that, they, it kind of becomes static. It took me forever, uh, to master Void in my practice file. I never did master the, uh, the last. Oh, no! If it, if it had waited one second to do that, it would have been fine. Alright, uh... Yeah, he'll blade him. Doesn't matter, uh, Zephyr's gonna... Wait, what? I said heal blade him. Zephyr's gonna take these guys out, so. Oh. I know this seems cheap, but these guys aren't that, you know, these guys are not gonna gonna fatal blow us or anything. It's it's They're not gonna present the problem. It's actually just a just a slightly easier way to take care of what we have to take care of. Because random encounters are random. Far more worried about her. Okay, I think this is the only way to go. Alright, alright, alright. I get it. I get it. You did this thing to me. Alright, these guys. These guys are fantastic. Um... Because they're great. These guys are decent experience. Uh, and a reg I think a regular spark will kill them. They're Will-O-Wisps. Yeah, they have 1,100 hit points. 
And their weakness is thunder. Yeah, that's probably not true without the Decrodomicon, but again, it's so overpowered. It just it murders your stats. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's ridiculous. And you get 6,000 experience for killing them. It's great. Huh. All right, a magic carrot. A magic carrot. Uh, there's four treasure chests in here. I am pretty sure. Ah, why these? I only hit these guys like once. In my, uh, in my practice file. Once. And it was on one of my multiple return trips. Because we will have multiple return trips here. It, it makes sense to go up. Ah. Uh, well, there. Now if they body power steal, they can only body power steal. Uh, 377. So, um, it makes sense to, like, there's a boss at the top. And then it makes sense to, like, get some of the last stuff come back out. I mean, things like that. So, I'm going to try to keep that. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, well, we'll do this. This, this room is perfectly built for skates. All right, so we got those four things. We're actually the door right here is the way out. All right, all right. Okay, well, it was Swarkaskis or whatever. I suppose we might as well just fight them. I'll analyze one for you. For your amusement and informative whatever. These guys are just... They're painful. They're a pain. They're a pain in the fact that, like... They're not strong. They they always appear in groups of three. Uh, they're, oh, they're strong enough to be problematic, I suppose. They have magic points in case you're low on magic points and want to steal from them. Which is a thing you can do. Alright. That one ran away. Maybe with our money. I don't know. I don't care. Particularly. We have, we're going to have bigger fish to fry in this place than these stupid little things. They're not, it's worth 9,000 if you kill all three of them. It's it's great, but... Alright, a lot of magic carrots, which is nice. And now this. Alright. So, we put the switch, and now open the door to, I don't know, the third floor, the second floor. Okay, so here we go. This is the like, easiest experience ever. And you think about the grinding potential for this. Anyway. Yeah, I noticed that when I... I hit those guys a lot when I first came in here. It was a little ridiculous. So... Now that that door is open, we get out of here. Alright, I get it. You know what? Actually, if you want to take care of these guys, I mean, if you just want to get rid of them and never see them again, this is the easiest way right here. Like, it'll cost you some... It'll cost you some...
Whoa! I am really hoping that noise stops. That's horrible. Huh. Oh, it's slowly going away. How weird is that? I wonder what it is. I wonder what it's a product of. Is it a product of the video game? Or if it's a product of my, my software? Well, it's gone now. I've never had that happen before. Or was it my imagination? Well, we'll know if feedback picked there. If the... All right, more magic carrots. All right, so. Oh yeah, I remember this place. It is another, well, it's another treasure, well, puzzle room thing, but not a bad one. Okay, Hasenbergs, I have no idea what their stats are or anything, all I know is that all I know is that you want to kill them because they do status stuff. They're a status attack enemy. They appear with Will of the Wisps a lot. Or Will O' Wisp, yeah. Alright. Dead. Yeah, you just want to... I'm not going to let him live long enough to uh, to analyze them. Just kill them. Meteor drive them. Hit them with whatever you have to hit them with. Because statuses in this game can be incredibly debilitating. Okay, full revive. I mean, the game's giving us some really cool stuff. Which is nice. And then we have to go over here. Well... Unless we get hit by enemies. I mean, we still have to go over there, but... Oh, same deal. I'm gonna always put my two big hitters on these this, these guys, just in case somebody misses or something. Yeah, ideally, you never want to give them a, a chance to even act. Because you never know. Oh, Flash! Wow! I haven't seen Flash in a while. The coloring of the characters gets so strange with Flash. All right, so... Lightroom? Yep. All right, we go up here, and there's a pit. I fell in it in my practice file. I did, I did. Statue goes down the hole. And uh, then we just have to make him match up with this other statue. There we go. Now, okay. I don't know how to explain what this puzzle does. I'm just gonna tell you how to solve it. Hit these two switches, open those two doors. Drop down. Hey, wait a minute. It's down here. Oh, I think it's a way out. I think it's a way to reset the puzzle if you mess up. Well, I shouldn't have gone down there. We can always pick up stuff we miss on the way back through. It's not, you know, and even if we if we miss something like a nectar, or I used one nectar in the series of Final Fight, so because it's it's the full heal all party item. Like the ultimate healing item. Well, well, and went up another level. All right, so uh, anyway, we opened those two doors. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's just the bottom left area. So anyway, so we're down here. We go up here. Throw this switch. Shuts those two doors. Opens this one. And then up we go. All right, third floor. 
when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.